Good morning, guys. Welcome to Elisa Marie Designs. I'm Elisa Marie, if you don't know, and I'm the curator of this channel. And if you know, you know. Elisa's been having, uh, been riding the struggle bus <laughs> these days. I had, um, had to cancel my self-care Sunday because I had a very traumatic experience at the dentist that brought back an accident that I had as a kid. And while I was trying to deal with that, I you know, trying to get in touch with that inner child, went to a playground and got on a swing and broke my ankle. And here we are. <laughs> and so today I am going to do for you what I said I would do is save a nice juicy spot in my canvas that had a lot of ABs and put them in. Now I've already done that. This is a little prequel to, to the, to the segment. Um, I've already done that and the reason why I decided to reshoot the beginning is because I learned a lot in this segment putting these ABs in. So I started out with the way that I usually do an A, put an AB in and that's to dip my uh, stylus, my diamond pen, in water and then place the AB in. And so why do we dip it in water? So I have a little container of water here. And I have the stylus. I'm, I have another stylus. Uh, that's part of this story. Um, I start out with one stylus, but it literally flipped out of my hand and, and did a somersault and landed on the other side of my desk, which I cannot retrieve because I'm in a boot and I am limited in my mobility right now. So you dip your stylus in some water and you tap it off. Let's dip it in water and tap it off. And then you pick up your ABs and you'll see this in the video. And when you place them down, it prevents them from sticking to your wax and pulling your wax out. Okay, that being said, I had a tissue that I was dabbing the water off with. Let's close this because I'm a klutz these days. Uh, and it was leaving a lot of lint behind, as it will. It's a tissue, so always have a lint-free uh, cloth. It was making me so crazy, and I'm like, I get a little um, nervous when I'm videotaping, and I'm like, what, you just edit it out. So I got up, and I got my Glass Plus. I may have got this in Aldi's. I don't think I got it in the dollar store. Most likely it was Aldi's. And what's nice about this was, it is a lint-free cloth, of course, because you're cleaning glass and you don't want to have streaks. But what was also nice is that I eliminated the water. This stayed damp for a nice amount of time. I don't want to open it up because I have all wax and putty in there. So it stayed wet for a longer period of time, enough for me to finish getting my, you could, I don't know if you can tell my hands are going to be wet, um, enough for me to get my drills in but what was really nice was, I, I use these when I'm done diamond painting anyway, because we have things at our desk, maybe we're picking on something, or maybe we're dr drinking coffee or whatever. I always give my drills, when I'm done, I'll take, I'll take this and I'll wipe over my drills, because it'll pick up any wax or any putty that gets stuck on the drills. Now I just, I clean this off. But what was really nice was, I'm using this to wet my stylus. And so I have like a cleaning fluid on here, right? And as I put my stylus down, I'm able to wipe and get off any stuck pieces of wax, putty, whatever, but, but now I'm using wax to get it off the canvas immediately. And it left my, my uh, ABs nice and shiny. The other thing was, Sometimes your ABs get stuck in there. You're placing them down and they're getting stuck here. They're trying to pull. They don't have enough strength because they're, they're wet. And some wax remains. And then maybe sometimes they just get stuck in there. You know, when you press down hard and they're not releasing and then you have to let them go and you got all this wax on there. I just put them on the cloth while I was doing this for you guys and gave them a little wipe put them back in the tray. So I have clean drills. Now, 
the reason why some of my drills are stuck together and really not in the best shape is because I was doing it the old way. But I did learn something. You'll see when I start, um, when I drop these drills in the tray in the beginning, they're kind of clumped together. They're clumped together because there's pieces of, of wax that were stuck on there and I had to pull them off. So, you know, it was something that happened during the course of me putting these AB drills in and it just made my life easier using the um, using the glass plus I'll put them away after I clean them off uh, it just made my life so much easier um, I didn't have to have the water which like I said I am a klutz and and I would have knocked this over um, I haven't yet but you know the way things are going why tempt fate right <laughs> and so um, that's my little prequel to this video and I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you take something away from it and I hope that maybe you decide to maybe go get your your little um, glass cleaner cleaner out and you don't need to get these wipes I'm over here and cleaning my desk you don't need to get these wipes get um, a lint free cloth maybe even a mic well, I don't want you to I want you to get a microfiber because if you wipe down um, you'll also see where I must have had a, a drill or two that was sticking up that when I was wiping it down, they got loose. So I had to put them back. But you can get a lint-free cloth, a piece of cotton, um, a cotton cloth, not, not a piece of cotton, not a cotton ball, and just spray it with some Windex, something that's gonna stay juicy. I, I just really like having the glass cleaner as what I'm using to moisten my ABs because if I have to wipe them down, it's already there. I'm not oversaturating my canvas. And I don't know. You let me know. How about that? All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. No, you're going to stay and you're going to watch this. Then I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Elisa Marie Designs. And thank you for checking in. Those of you that know me know that I um, had a few medical issues. Nothing drastic, um, some dental work, and now I decided to break my ankle, hence the crutches in the background. <laughs> so thank you for uh, clicking on and checking in. I wanted to let you guys know that, you know, while I recuperate here, I've gotten a lot of my huge uh, winter fox completed. I'm going to turn it around so that you can take a little look, baby look. Um, it was interesting this morning, I was listening, I was, you know, I always have YouTube on, those of you that know me know I always have YouTube on, I have it on right now, I have the relaxed moment on, which is really kind of cool, I have Fuki here, little head trying to Fuki, um, so you can't see my TV, oh, yeah, <laughs> there you go, I have the relaxed moment on, and it's a really nice, um, lo-fi, uh, copyright free, no more hand clapping <laughs> from making it. <laughs> no more hand clapping and, uh, uh, you know, I knew I was doing wrong, but hey, listen. As, as, as Gabrielle said, it raises the vibration, and that's what I'm here for, to raise the vibration. So let me get my little, so let's take a look at how much I've gotten done. And I was saying that I was listening to YouTube this morning, and Lizette from Lizette Crafts and Tells, had a little short on and she was she has nicknamed the juicy part i think it's her i think it's her it, it must be she's french <laughs> and we have to get together lizette because i used to make a, a cafe bonbon in my uh, uh cafe uh which was so delicious mm. so she calls those little bites on your canvas that you leave like uh the the, the bonbon right so she calls it her diamond painting bonbon and I kept for you guys, like I said I would before I was, uh, when I got injured, I kept this area here to do with you guys. That, that it's all um, Aurora Borealis. And I thought that that would be kind of cool if I just let the lo-fi play in the background and put these Aurora Borealis in. But my bonbon is the face, <laughs> of course. And my little fox here. But I've gotten... You know, uh, I'm there. I have this little section here left to do. Was that was that reveal in there <laughs> in that shot? Oh, let's put the light on. Duh. Um, now I can't see anything on my on my phone. But um, 
I have this little section here left to do. I'm going to do right now the Aurora Borealis. And this is my bonbon, Lizette. I love, I love, I love that terminology. What is your bonbon? So here we go. Let's take a, let's take a gander at this girly here. And there she is, my beauty. I love her. Now I did go over to Michael's and see um, what it would cost to get this uh, framed. I'm trying to get it in all in the frame. Here we go. To try and see what it would cost to get this framed, and like the lowest part is like maybe two twenty five, <laughs> two hundred and twenty five bucks to get it framed. I also think I'm going to turn this around so that you guys are looking at her right side up, and I'll be looking at her upside down. I took my little uh, labels off um, that say top and bottom because the washi tape anymore just drives me insane. It just really drives me insane. Uh, I can't take the washi tape any longer. Uh, it just peels off. Like this was a really good washi tape. Um, I don't know. I think I got this at Michael's. Uh, I ordered some from Amazon and it's just crap. So. This is the section that's all Aurora Borealis, and right here, all Aurora, Bo Aurora Borealis, your ABs. And so I will be um, just working quietly, getting those in, and um, letting you watch. So I have my wax in here. This is a pen. If you if you know, you know. This is a pen that um, Dreamer Design uh, puts in their kits, and it's for picking up your a B drills and I love it I love it sometimes I put wax in here sometimes I don't but this picks up a nice amount this will pick up four at a time these are just my number fours on here you could also use those too uh, to pick up your ABs I like fours fours are very uh, versatile uh, for your um, diamond work um, where is my little here it is okay arms reach have a little container here with some water in it because I use water with my uh, AB drills to get into this uh, AB work. I'm very excited to get this going. I'm gonna let, hopefully, it's not a commercial coming up on my AB, on my uh, lo-fi AB, on my lo-fi station that I have on. I love that. It's called the relaxed moment, and they play some really nice music. That is copyright free. As I'm watching this over, I did decide to do a few voiceovers as I'm going along, and I am going to speed this up also because it was so frustrating to just watch the um, problems that I was having with um, lint and wax, but you'll see that as you continue to watch.
I'm actually using a tissue here and you're not aware of it, but I'm getting kind of frustrated with the little bit of lint that's being left behind. that rubbing that you're seeing me do with my fingers because that blue wax is a little oily to me it feels like at times and it um it's leaving little pieces of wax and i'm rubbing it with my finger and i'm seeing that the drills are getting dull um but i'm still you know continuing on the way that i normally do I really don't know why I went for more blue wax here. Like I said, sometimes I get nervous when I'm filming. I um, really should have gone for the purple wax, which I love uh, from Dreamer Design. And, you know, that was in front of me. And I'm trying to do a good job here placing these drills. But I'm, I'm getting frustrated. And I think that, that shows up in your work, you know, um, when you are, you know, just persevering on instead of stopping and changing what you're doing but that frustration is going to last just a tiny bit longer here <laughs> And I've gotten my cuticle nippers that I use for just diamond painting. And I'm picking now at wax residue that's being left behind on the drills. Probably, it was probably big enough that I needed to get the nippers out and get it off. And any drill that you see me dropping back in the tray now has wax on it. And that's the frustration of having wax on the drill and then it goes back in the tray and then they stick to other drills. But um, 
you're going to see where I kind of remedy this. Still wiping up wax here with the tissue, moving the tissue out of the way. And I think uh, I'm getting ready to dig this blue wax out and get my purple wax because it's just um, sticking to the ABs and being annoying and then not coming off. The drills are not coming off even though the wax is wet. I am dipping it in the water, tapping it off. And, and here we go, dabbing again, more wax, and um, I'm hoping that um, this is where I stop and just get out some new wax. I, I might, yeah, here I am, I'm, di I'm digging that out because it's just mm -hmm. so much tension at this point. <laughs> and putting my purple wax in. And anytime you put new wax in, it's very juicy, very plump, and, you know, there's a, a great chance that you're going to pull that wax out. I am putting wax in the tip. This is kind of unusual. I usually don't put wax in that tip. Wetting that cone-shaped point is usually enough to pick up the ABs. Uh, very easily but I it might just be me yep see the wax came out it might just be me and I'm just frustrated I'm filming and I'm under this tension and uh, this might be where I just break away at this point I've wet the tissue it's just making a bigger mess I don't know if you could it's not registering for me on this end where I can see it on my phone but it's probably going to register um, when you view this 
if you view this on your TV, or maybe after I format this for uh, to be published, it might be a little bit sharper than what I'm seeing on my end. I am moving a lot quicker with the purple wax, but I, I am really, um, I don't want to stop. You know, I have this other big part to do and um, I can't remember where I actually went and got the, I might not have gotten the um, glass cleaner uh, rags yet. And I might just eliminate a chunk of this <laughs> because I'm getting so frustrated even watching it. I might eliminate a whole chunk of this portion and just cut it out. Um, because it's just more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. So, but you know, you might see yourself here. You might be feeling like, gee, I'm not the only one that goes through this when they go and put their ABs in. It's a little frustrating. Like we all wait for these juicy blocks of drills to place down. But, you know, Aurora Borealis can be, they can be challenging, you know. Um, you know, your, your wetting, your tip, sometimes there's too much water. Then you got water in the tray and, and the um, drills are getting stuck there too. But let's see where I am here. Let's, let's go a little bit further. I, I am straightening out drills, but I'm also getting in between the crevices where I see wax. Uh, get ready because I'm about to speed uh, this section up. Just more of the same here. I'm placing the ABs, I'm pressing them down, I'm cleaning, um, got the uh, cuticle nippers out again, picking up wax, and I'm about to roll away and get the uh, glass cleaning wipes. And here we go. I got the wipes out because there was just so much residue on the drills that I finished that I wanted to give them a wipe down. And, you know, I'm feeling how juicy this rag is. And I'm going to try out here putting the, um, putting the rag to use to wet my stylus um, and see how that works versus the water. And as you can see, this is working so much better. Um, you know, not I don't have a lot of moisture on the stylus, um, but the drills are, are staying on and they're giving once I place them down. I have this lint-free cloth that I can just wipe everything away. It was something that you know i just kind of fell into and i love this little tip and I, i'm able to wipe my drills and they're bright and shiny and there's nothing left behind 
And I like that. It's kind of like cooking, clean as you go, you know? <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy this tip. I really, really do enjoy it. And I think what I'm going to do is what I did um, just a little bit back is speed this up because it's just more of the same. And this is such a pretty, pretty piece once all the ABs are in. Well, that was more relaxing to watch knowing that I had this tip that I just kind of stumbled in on and here I am like, you know, just filling around and I love having that rag in my hand so I'm able to wipe everything down, even my tools. And um, I, I think I may have even gotten my little um, handheld magnifying glass out to look at everything and just make sure, like, is it as clean as I think it is? And yes, it was. Okay, so there you have it. I have put in the ABs as promised. I saved them for you guys. And I have to tell you, sometimes ABs are a lot of fun and a lot of times they're very challenging, but there was a lot to learn in this segment. And I hope that you take something away with you. Create the world that you wanna live in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.